So I think it's day 34 now of cab isolation and lockdown learning. There's not a lot of farming today. It's been Sunday, so I've been doing some crop walking. Uh, I'm in the sunflower field now. And um, unfortunately, the pigeons and the slugs, despite them being slug pellets, we've also got rabbits now eating them. Um, coming out of the hedgerow behind us, which is a bit of a pain. You can see where they've been digging as well there. They've dug that out of there. So, um, it's just, there's always something that wants to eat things around here for some strange reason. So I've been looking at the uh, the wheat where we put the drain in. The drain's working really well. Um, the field's now dried up no end and it's like concrete where the drain's gone through. So I've got a video of that I'll put on. And then I've been up at the other farm um, and we've been setting up, but it's took some doing to try and work out how we can fit, fit the menage in that we're building in the right space that we've got. So it kind of does fit, but it'd have been better if it was only 39 meters long rather than than um, than 40 meters long. But if it's 40 meters long, it can you can do competitions in there if ever you wanted to. So we're going to have to um, make it 40 meters long, but it means it sticks out a little bit more than we thought into the yard a bit further. But that's just how it's going to have to be. So I've just been on the telly on today, really moving moving different buckets and stuff around for the digger. So it's like a big like a big dumper. So saves uh, messing around with trailers and stuff like that. So now the field's bone dry and you can see where it used to be wet, where we put the drain of the week. So that's a field of wheat and this is a strip that we've sown wildflowers on. And this is one, two, three, four bottles. A bit of duck rescue, don't know what's wrong with it, it's either it's beak or it's not it's beak, it's a... Uh, it's the leg or it's wing, but it was stuck in the ditch and couldn't move. So we're going to take it back and feed it and see what we can do. So I've just had a phone call off one of the residents that borders one of our fields to tell me that there's some lads on motorbikes flying through the oilseed rape and smashing it down. So I've rung the police and I'm just going to head up there now and see if we can get some pictures of them. So I've been up there and I've got a um, picture of them through the hedge in the field they were quite far away i didn't want to disturb them until the police arrived so i left and waited for the police to come it's now two hours later the police have rung me up to tell me that um they didn't bother going out and they wanted to know how much damage had been done um because they weren't sure whether it was worth investigating if they caught them so hopefully they'll i'll send them the pictures of what what the bike looked like that they were using and, and, and a description of them and if they catch the bike in a few days time hopefully they can do it for criminal damage for damaging the crop but a bit annoyed really that the police didn't bother even turning up when this fact they tell us all the time oh if you've got this going on ring us up and we'll be there but they're not so there's not really been much farming going on today on today's cab isolation we've been up at the new farm with the digger pulling off the grass off the old yard so it's like cinders underneath and we've got to um take all the grass off the top put some drains across so that um, it'll drain better and put some ducting across to get um, electric cables from, from what's the house over here. We go through with it, can see better. There we go. So what's the house right the way across the yard to the buildings over there to get electric and drainage across and um, water because someone's nicked all the electric cables because the place has been derelict for years. And then over here, we've got some membrane to go down. We've got some rails and we've got some posts and there's the drainage. So we're putting a menage in for um, horses to ride on. So the people that then live in the house can rent an apartment in the house and then rent a stable over there. And then when they're at university or wherever, they can bring the horse with them. That's the plan anyway, if everything ends with this COVID-19 stuff.